Dr. Bobby Mukamala of Flint. In the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, Dr. Bobby Mukamala, a head and neck surgeon, jumped into action and found several ways to support the Flint community. He began teaching others how to administer COVID tests and how to do so in a less painful, more comfortable way. He also volunteered at testing facilities all over his community. Dr. Bobby also felt inspired to make masks with his son. He had a dozen 3D printers that he had purchased to donate to Flint schools, but they weren't yet ready. So together, he and his son started printing N95 equivalent masks when they were in short supply. Dr. Delicia Pruitt of Bay City. In the early stages of COVID-19, Dr. Pruitt began working as the medical director of Saginaw County. She gathered resources and organized mass vaccination clinics at four churches located in underserved areas with the help of multiple health systems. In just two days, over 2,500 vaccines were administered at these clinics. Dr. Pruitt, along with her colleague, Health Officer Chris Harrington, live streamed video of them receiving their first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. The pair aired 65 episodes on Facebook Live with various medical guests to inform the public of the importance of COVID-19 information. Dr. Pruitt hoped this would increase vaccine confidence, especially among people of color. Hugh Mailer of Birmingham. Hugh Mailer's impact at Forgotten Harvest, one of the nation's largest food rescue organizations, has made him a staple in food security efforts in Southeast Michigan. Hugh has assisted with data entry food agency visitations and helped within the warehouse and food rescues. In July 2019, Hugh joined another volunteer, Bobby Parrish, to create the Harvest Hero program. Trained volunteer teams picked up donated food to help support people facing hunger. Together, Harvest Heroes rescued and delivered 480,000 pounds of food, or about 400,000 nutritious meals. Hugh's leadership during the pandemic was essential. Jenna Archidiakono of Rockford. Chef Jenna used her local celebrity chef status to help others during the pandemic. When COVID began, Chef Jenna created food hugs to help as many people in need as possible. In addition to handing out meals to frontline workers, she also provided meals to many people who lost loved ones to COVID-19 at no cost to them. She was featured in local and national media outlets. During the pandemic, Jenna helped struggling restaurant employees with a program called Tip Back Thursday, where $1,000 in donations were given to restaurants. 47 restaurants were supported with this program. Lisa Janke of Marquette. Early on in the pandemic, Lisa joined the Masks for Marquette Volunteer Initiative to help make masks and distribute protective gear for medical personnel, frontline workers, and school children. Masks for Marquette provided over 45,000 pieces of protective equipment. In March of 2001, Lisa also began volunteering with the Marquette County Health Department to help residents get vaccinated. Lisa also serves to help raise funds every year to make life a little more easier for families who have a child battling cancer. Pat Munshaw of East Lansing. Pat Munshaw is an 83-year-old retired registered nurse who stepped out of retirement to help administer COVID-19 vaccinations. She volunteered two times a week through both the Ingham County Health Department and Sparrow Hospital and administered nearly 1,000 COVID-19 vaccinations. Pat has volunteered for many charitable organizations, including the Rotary Club of Lansing Foundation, Boar's Head and Williamston Theaters, 
Greater Lansing Arts Council, the Capital Region Community Foundation, the Capital Area United Way, the Capital Area Transportation Authority. She's an election poll worker, along with being on the board of the Bircham Hills Retirement Center. Dr. Phil Knight of Fenton. During the pandemic, Dr. Knight's tireless efforts to pursue partnerships, funding, and food to meet food insecurity needs helped enable the Food Bank Council of Michigan to provide 47% more food than at any other time in their history. In addition to serving as the director of the Food Bank Council, Phil also serves as the chair of the Governor's Food Security Council. Outside of working with food security, Phil also volunteers with the University of Michigan Kidney Cancer Research Team. His wife, Christy, is a kidney cancer survivor, and the pair tell their story at events and fundraisers to assist in raising funds and awareness. Priscilla Bordeo of Lansing. During the COVID-19 pandemic, domestic violence and sexual abuse cases increased. Priscilla Bordeo felt determined to help those who suffered from sexual assault and domestic violence get the resources they needed. In addition to being alongside the survivors while getting their rape kits processed and going to the hospital at all hours of the night, sometimes for 10 hour shifts or more, Priscilla also took on a new role working for crime survivors for safety and justice. She has advocated in the courts for over 500 women who have been sexually assaulted for five years and did this work voluntarily without pay. Priscilla also runs a nonprofit called Remarkable, where she mentors women ages 18 to 35 years old and helps them recognize their purpose in life and reach their full potential. Rebecca Islam from Sterling Heights. Rebecca Islam is an advocate for Asian American Pacific Islander rights and resources. Rebecca is the executive director and serves on the board of American Citizens for Justice as a volunteer director of the League of Women Voters of Michigan and a member of the Voter Empowerment Project. She began fundraising to help those who were rebuilding their lives from the ground up, much like herself and her family had to do when they moved to the U.S. from Bangladesh. She started phone banking with the Roundtable for Diversity and Inclusion in partnership with Asian and Pacific Island American Vote Michigan. Additionally, she spends time volunteering to assist with translation and interpretation services when voting and partnered to provide COVID-19 vaccinations. Vivian Murray of Detroit. Despite COVID-19 outbreaks and being vulnerable to the virus, Vivian Murray did not hesitate to answer the call for help from a short-staffed hospital during the pandemic. She came out of retirement after 50 years of service to support the nurses at Sinai Grace Hospital during a profoundly stressful time. The hospital welcomed her return because of her unparalleled expertise, kind spirit, and team player approach. She took the risk to work as a surgical nurse alongside the frontline nurses to help with much needed lunch and energy break relief as they fought an enormous uphill battle against the virus. Every year around Christmas time, Vivian and her youngest daughter adopt a family through My Sister's Pink Journey, an organization that gives to minority women going through breast cancer treatment. Meet your 2021 COVID-19 heroes.